We're Tom and Hannah, and this week we're in Somerset. So join us as we visit the smallest city in England, explore ancient caves, and stay in a witch's hat. Welcome to the witch's hat suite. Hi there guys, welcome back to another vlog. So we actually have two consecutive days together for the first time in over a month. It's very exciting. So we were just gonna, you know, chill together in the house and I don't know, do whatever. But we were like, why don't we just go somewhere? Just yeah. go away, why not? So we were picking and choosing where to go and we were just like, yeah, let's go to Wookie Hill. <laughs> so we're in the Mendip Hills. It's quite a gray day. It says it might rain later, but you know, that isn't gonna stop us. We're at Wookie Hole about to explore. I think this weekend is gonna consist of going to Wookie Hole, maybe checking out Wells, which is the smallest city in England, and then hopefully doing a good hike in the Cherry Gorge tomorrow. Wookie Hole is steeped in myth and legend. And this is how the legend goes. A woman supposedly lived in the caves and was thought to be a witch by the villagers. After the witch curses a budding romance to fail, a monk called Father Bernard is sent to investigate. When he reached the caves, he had a terrible argument with the witch, who understandably didn't want to leave her home. So she fled deeper into the cave with Father Bernard following. He couldn't see where the witch was hiding, so he sprinkled some holy water through the chamber and some fell on the witch. She let out a blood-curdling scream, followed by an eerie silence. And shining his candlelight in the direction of the scream, he saw that the witch had turned to stone. There she is. The cave was also the site of the first ever cave dive back in 1935. And it also matures its very own cheddar cheese. But they said the fact is to... Whoa! That was honestly so cool. I really, very, really enjoyed that. It was so interesting. Like, really interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by some fairies in the woods. <laughs> if you're a sucker for myths and legends like I am, The Witch of Wookie Hole is such a cool, cool story. And the actual cave itself was so detailed and intricate with all the ways it's been formed by the water. It's got such a rich diving history as well. And I really want to learn more about that. And I really want to do the caving experience that they do here. You can do abseiling, Climbing over bridges, climbing over the rocks, it looks so fun. <laughs> I came to Wookie Hill when I was really little, and weirdly, the only thing I remember about it is the paper making demonstration. And I didn't remember the cave or anything at all, but the paper making really has stuck with me. <laughs> Absolutely shocking. I'm very scared. Shocked. Magical mirror maze. I remember that. We've just reached the magical mirror maze and it's unlocked some childhood memories of me being in this maze. Oh my gosh. I was already like, which one's the real Tom? Oh, I don't like this. It's really disorientating. This is. Ooh. Oh, I thought we were going that way. Oh. Just getting inspo for my uh, future dream home setup. As well as the caves, there's also some other attractions here like pirate golf, a circus show, which I'm so gutted isn't being shown at this time of year, otherwise I'd love to go and see that. A 4D cinema, like a dinosaur area, a fairy area. If I'm being completely honest, I think aside from the cave, this is very kid oriented. Oh definitely, it's definitely more of a family, children place, but it's cute. <laughs> but we are going to end our time here by playing pirate golf. Ooh. Four. Oh, you did it. You just took four times. Five. Oh, that was one of the left. We're on the last hole, and Tom just got it in one from over there in the hole, in literally just one smooth swoop. I'm on my. This is my ninth. <laughs> ninth God, I can't get it in. I definitely haven't won now. Okay, come on, nine. Nine on nine, see it was meant to be. <laughs> yeah. You definitely won that. <laughs> so we've just arrived to Wells, which yeah, is England's smallest city. And it is quite small. It's very um, small. It feels like a small town, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't feel as small as St. David's, for sure. No. But definitely feels like a smaller city. 
Um, but it's cute. We're just heading towards the cathedral now to check that out because it looks quite impressive from here. It only has a population of about 12,000 people, so it is very small. In fact, my hometown is larger than it, but it's been a city since the medieval times because of this cathedral. First impressions are that this building is so impressive. All of the carvings on the outside and even the inside are so intricate. Just with the tools that they had available, the craftsmanship is amazing. Just come out of the cathedral for the Evensong and the choir was magical. Yeah, the choir was really, really beautiful. I've never actually experienced anything like that, so that was quite interesting to see. Um, yeah, glad we did it and it passed some time. We were going to go to Wells Museum, which I was really looking forward to because that's where the Witch of Wookie Hill's body, like actual skeleton is. Um, but it's closed today and tomorrow, the only days we're here. Maybe next time. <laughs> Welcome to the Witch's Hat Suite. This is the witch's hat. It's basically a turret. So we've got our downstairs lounge area and then we go upstairs to our bedroom, which is just kind of floating in the middle of the room actually. Oh, this is cute. And it goes wow. all the way up to the top. So, so Wookie Hole has a hotel and yeah, the price included park tickets, which obviously we went to this morning. So it's pretty good. Yeah, so we did a package deal, which is basically the two park tickets, the night stay, and a cooked breakfast in the morning, so we couldn't resist. We decided to upgrade to this room for £20 more, purely for the gimmick of being in the turret in the witch's hut. And it's cute, I like it. It's very like unique, I've never been in a hotel room where the bed is basically floating above you, so that's quite cool. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning! So we just went down for breakfast and now we're getting ready to head out to Cheddar Town. Birthplace of Cheddar Cheese and there is a gorge there called Cheddar Gorge. It's meant to be one of the most beautiful views in England. We have read that the actual road itself is closed potentially so we're going to go to the town, do a little walk up to a scenic point hopefully and see the gorge from above and maybe eat some cheese. <laughs> Let's go! So I've just pulled up in Cheddar Village and it's really quiet today. So I'm just gonna have a little look around before hopefully heading out to do the gorge lookout walk. The walk from the village into the gorge is really lovely. There are cute little independent shops everywhere. We're starting to get the sort of steep rock faces on the side as we walk in. The water, unusually, so unusually for Britain's rivers, is completely crystal clear. Which is kind of sad that we're noticing that so much. We're like, wow, the water is so clear. The <laughs> clear water in Britain, what? Um, it's really nice and the gorge looks really cool from, we're not even like in the gorge yet, but we're just looking at it. It just out looks, it's so nice. yeah, so interesting. This little part of the village leading into the gorge is actually really, really cute. Cheddar is obviously known for its cheese. Uh, but there's also some other things that are really popular here, as well as the gorge, uh, like the caves. There's a, there's a few caves and a walk up Jacob's Ladder, which is like loads and loads and loads of steps up to a lookout tower. But they're both closed today, unfortunately, so we can't do them. So we're just going to go and look at the gorge and just take it in. We've just started the very steep climb up to the lookout point. I'm already aching. I'm only like a fraction of the way up. If you are a Lord of the Rings fan like me, the location of Helm's Deep was inspired by Cheddar Gorge. Really hope this is worth it. Small. Small. Well, you do have to sleep here. Ooh, it's worth it. That drop is so steep and honestly, it's kind of freaking me out just looking down. It is amazing though, and it is so, so worth it. That steep climb, just to see that view. This just goes to show you cannot let the weather dictate what you're doing. You don't have to get stuck inside. 
you can still come out and see amazing places like this. The walk up is part of a larger cliff top walk which takes about three hours but if you're a little bit short on time like us, getting up to this viewpoint only takes about an hour there and back. So you can still see epic views without the commitment of doing a full three hour walk. It's still a commitment of steepness though. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't leave without getting a few souvenirs. So I got some cave matured cheese. So that's the end of our weekend in Somerset. Thank you so much for coming along with us, seeing caves, witches, and cheddar cheese. We hope that you enjoyed this video. The next time you see us, we'll be somewhere very exciting that's not actually in the UK. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you then. then. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.